What's up guys? Welcome to This Week in MXA, episode number 30, presented to you by O'Neill Racing. In this week's video, we got some major news to release about Triumph motorcycles entering the motocross and off-road dirt bike scene. We're super excited about that. We're gonna let you know all the information we know about that so far. Also, we saw some awesome battles at the Millville National, round six of the AMA Nationals. We've got some highlights from that in this video. And I spent five days at the track last week, working at the Panacrev camp, training riders, testing bikes and parts at Glen Helen and racing at REM. All of that we're going to talk on on this week's video. First off, we got to talk about the new Triumph motorcycles. These guys are entering the motocross and off-road racing scene and it's super exciting. Triumph Motorcycles has announced that development is underway on a new range of motocross and enduro motorcycles and they have Ricky Carmichael and Ivan Cervantes leading the way as ambassadors and active partners in bike testing and preparation for racing at the highest levels. We don't know what color the new dirt bike's gonna be or what the lineup is gonna look like because Triumph hasn't given us any pictures or videos yet. And Trevor and I were talking, the rest of the Triumph motorcycles, their street bikes and dual sport bikes are primarily black. So it'll be interesting to see if they come out with black dirt bikes as well for motocross and off-road. We already have all the other major colors taken so I can't really think of what else they would do. So we don't have photos of the new Triumph motorcycles yet. These guys are still in the development process of their new bikes but we do have some footage of European off-road star Ivan Cervantes taking the Triumph Scrambler 1200 dual sport bike for some serious off-road riding and we know that Ricky Carmichael has been riding their bikes lately as well. We also have been seeing him post lots of photos on Triumph street bikes and dual sport bikes. Over a year ago, Carmichael has been working with Triumph and now we hear about their introduction into the motocross realm. In the press release, Ricky Carmichael said, building something from the ground up is something that is really intriguing to me at this stage in my career. Everyone I've been involved with in this project from the engineers, design groups, R&D department, and etc., have shown extreme passion for what they're doing. Ricky Carmichael continued on to say, not only are these exciting times for me, but it's an exciting time for the off-road industry to be adding another brand to the mix and for the opportunities that lie ahead for all off-road consumers. I can't wait to see the reactions when these models hit the dealer's showroom floors. All right, guys, so I was completely surprised and thrown off guard when Triumph told MXA about their new lineup that was coming, but I think it's the perfect time to introduce new motocross bikes. I've personally interviewed a lot of industry bigwigs from the heads of big companies in our industry talking about the motorcycle industry and how the pandemic and all the shutdown restrictions have affected it. As you guys probably already know, motorcycle dealers are wide open selling bikes, gear, hard parts, everything is selling out and everything is selling for top dollar. So for a new motorcycle brand to enter the motocross and off-road market, I think now is a great time to do it. Triumph Motorcycles is a British company that began in 1902 and continues to this day as the biggest motorcycle manufacturer in England. They have delivered over 75,000 bikes in the 2021 financial year, and they have close to 700 dealers across the globe with 2,000 employees. They currently have a broad range from roadsters, super sport motorcycles, adventure bikes, and modern classics, and soon they'll have dirt bikes. Jumping into the next topic, I want to touch on the Millville National as it was round six of the pro motocross season. The Millville National was full of exciting racing and unfortunately some big crashes. Sadly, Ken Roxon was at the front of one of those crashes. 450 Moto 1, first turn, he had a hard crash and had to sit the whole moto out after getting run over by his teammate and a few other riders. His bike and body were beaten up, but amazingly, he came back fresh for Moto 2 and was blazing fast to take the win. Justin Barsha on his Torley Designs Red Bull Gas Gas bike, he got the whole shot in the first moto and went out to win the first moto of the day with Dylan Ferrandis, the points leader pressuring him the whole time. A lot of us expected Dylan Frannis to get by Justin Barsha, but he was able to hold him off. In the second moto, Barsha was able to finish a solid second place behind Ken Roxon and take his first overall win on the new Gas Gas brand. It was also a big bummer to see Cincerillo go down. He was another one of those riders that struggled with crashes at Millville. This season, he's been struggling big time with a nerve issue in one of his arms, and it's been affecting him badly on the track. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish out the first moto, and he wasn't able to line up for the second moto. We do know that he has plans to get the arm fixed with surgery after the pro motocross season is done, and we hope that he'll be good to go for the 
Washougal race this weekend coming up for round seven. Diving into the 250 class, Jeremy Martin became the sixth new winner in sixth races. It's crazy. I think we're breaking records at this point and hopefully somebody else can win at the Washougal National so we can keep it going, make it seven for seven. Jeremy Martin went 1-1 at his hometown track and Justin Cooper actually gained the points lead over Jet Lawrence for the first time this season with his 2-3 moto scores. Justin Cooper now has a six point margin over Jet Lawrence who went 4-6 in the motos at Millville after getting caught up in the Pierce Brown and RJ Hampshire pileup in 250 Moto 2. It was a bummer for RJ Hampshire. He had more bad luck when him and Pierce Brown went down. Luckily, Pierce Brown is okay from that crash. It looked like a brutal hit to his knee, but he is gonna be okay. Hampshire did have to DNF though, sadly, when his bike got caught in the banners. My little brother, Michael Mosman, also had an awesome day, making it two gas gas riders on the podium. Justin Barsha got the win in the 450 class. My little brother went 3-2 for second overall in the 250 class and grabbed his first podium of the season. He's been super fast this year and I've been super proud of him, but he's had a lot of struggles with a little bit of injuries and he also had some bike problems that caused him to drop backwards quite a few times and he crashed while leading at Southwick. So he's had a string of bad luck, but I was super proud of him. He came back to California after spending the last few weeks in Florida and we went to In-N-Out Burger on Sunday night to celebrate his podium at the Millville National and also celebrate my podium at REM. Both Mosman brothers raced this weekend. You got some roost marks on your neck. I do. I got I got some gnarly roost marks on my arms. Both of us were riding gas gas. Both of us finished second in the pro class. Yeah. I um, was I was at REM doing some local <laughs> racing and you're at uh, Millville. Spring Creek, yeah. Spring Creek. What's another story uh, that people wouldn't know from watching the race on TV? Ooh, Justin, Justin Cooper, um, I passed him the second in the second moto and I watched it on TV and it looks like I just executed the pass like super smooth. But in person, I felt like I like just ran in there, like jumped into the rut and like revved a bunch and just like fumbled through the corner. But in reality, when I watched it, I was like, oh man, I, I looked like I knew what I was doing. I just thought I just scared him and then he kind of checked up and gave him the line, but it was uh, what it was. All right, in this next segment of the video, I got to dive into my massive big week we had here in Southern California. I spent five days at the track the first three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're training guys at the Panic Rev Christian Motocross Camp at Lake Elsinore. It was a lot of fun, and we even had Shane McRath on staff as a trainer for the week as well. My lips are chapped. Well, I'm a, a little bit of whipper, a little bit of sunburnt. My calves are sunburnt. But you know what? We just finished riding. Camp for me is a blast every year. I do Panic Rev winter camp and summer camp here in Southern California. We teach on technique, trying to make riders safer, stronger, faster. We're making friendships and overall just having a lot of fun together. So I love being able to give back to the sport and really share the experiences that I've had from racing, training and riding throughout my whole lifetime. Panic Rev Camp is a blast for me every year. We also had some special guests join the MXA Wrecking Crew. Randy Efferson, he's a Major General in the U.S. Air Force. We had Dylan Luttrell, he's a crew chief at the Air National Guard base in Montgomery, Alabama. And Randy's son and our friend Ethan Efferson, he joined us as well. We had these three guys join us for three days in a row of riding at Lake Elsinore for Panic Rev Camp. Then they came with me to Glen Helen on Thursday for some testing. We changed tires and got bikes all ready on Friday at Jody's house. And then we went back to Glen and Helen for more racing at REM on Saturday. It was a massive week, but it was a lot of fun. Big day, big day for you pros. Yeah, Good a lot ride. of fast guys. You're gonna, you're gonna keep you honest today, Josh. Yeah, we got some special guests from Alabama. I like right. it. Yeah. So that'll be cool. After a long week of training young riders at Panic Rev Camp, I got to put my skills to the test at REM Racing. I love racing now more than ever. It was a lot of fun for me. We had 12 450 pros, which is a solid turnout for REM. And I got to battle with Trevor Stewart, Sean Lapanovich, Justin Jones, and a lot of other top pros like Brian Medeiros and Ezra Lewis, who are also MXA test riders. It was a lot of fun. First moto, I thought I had the whole shot, but I ended up dropping back to third when Sean Lapanovich, I think this guy dug a tunnel in the ground and came up in front of me. This guy just, I don't know, came out of nowhere and got past me in the first straightaway. But third place start, I got roosted horribly bad. Sean Lepanovich finally got by him, finished second behind Trevor Stewart. Second moto, I made sure to get the whole shot, got out front, led for a long time. I should have won the race. I really have no excuses, but I did get tired towards the end. Trevor Stewart got by me. So overall, super fun day of racing for me and our friends from Alabama really got to experience all that Glen Helen has to offer. What a great experience for sure. I got so much roost and I was thankful.
thankful for every rock and stone of it. Nice. And I look forward to going out there for the second moto for sure. Nice. And to be able to race with my son and all these good folks out here. Uh, great experience. Uh, it was really good. I'm not used to doing 20 minute motos like that. <laughs> what do you think of the track? It's pretty rough. And the hills? Pretty terrible. Really? <laughs> <laughs> They're really steep. Josh Mosman for taking me out here and dealing with me, my dad. I like Lots it. Lots of fun. All right, good stuff, Ethan. Oh, man. Whole shot. Yes, how'd, it, how'd it go? Dude, it, that one went way better than the, the first moto, that's for sure. Felt pretty solid, a little more confident. The nerves were, were gone. I wasn't as nervous. But, uh, man, dude, that track got rough and slick out there. It, it was pretty gnarly. We don't have hills like that back home. So charging up and down them hills, man, it was it was a whole nother experience. Dude. Totally different, man. It's I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's slick and but kind of forms and gets rough. Like, I, I don't think our tracks get that rough back home. It's It was pretty gnarly. That's sick. Heck yeah. Good stuff, man. All right, guys. So it was a blast this last week. A lot of days and a lot of hours spent in the sun at the motorcycle track, but I really can't complain. It's awesome being an MXA test rider and I'm thankful to have a job like this. With that being said, I wanna know in the comment section down below what you guys think about Triumph Motorcycles, what your first thought is on the new motorcycle brand entering the motocross and off-road market, and if there's a specific color that you think would be best. Do you think it would look good with black or do you think they should have some other type of color? Let us know in the comments down below. If you haven't seen our funny questions video where we ask 18 factory riders some random questions, it was posted last week on our YouTube channel and on our website be sure to check it out that's all for this week in mxa episode number 30 thank you guys for tuning in as always motocrossactionmag.com if you're looking for bike tests product tests race results news and more check us out there and check us out on instagram at motocrossactionmag that's all for this week's video see you next time